West Virginia University is located in Morgantown, West Virginia. NanoSafe is a program at West Virginia University which stands for Nanotechnology Sensing Advances for Field and Environment. NanoSafe provides excellent science, research, education, and outreach programs to the state of West Virginia, the United States, and the world. The program's mission is to provide the best possible science to develop the nanotechnology required for environmental threat detection. The NanoSafe program engages in interdisciplinary research by integrating new technologies with expertise from departments and colleges across the Morgantown campus of West Virginia University. So this includes areas such as biochemistry, chemistry, engineering, pharmacy, and physics with the goal of advanced sensing in a device. NanoSafe research focuses on three different areas. Bioelectronic and biophotonic devices are two types of nanotechnologies that we're exploring for detection of pathogens and also for heavy metals and herbicides. My research focuses on doing biomolecule DNA separation in a microfluidic device. We use a special phospholipid nanogel which has a thermally reversible viscosity which allows us to easily reuse our microfluidic device. This research is very important because it allows us to create a device that is portable and can be used in field hospitals and non-hospital settings. Um, it's transformative in the fact that we are using the phospholipid nanogels instead of traditional uh, polymer gels inside the device. With traditional polymer gels, we have to throw away the device at the end of each use. In order to make this biophotonic and bioelectronic devices, we use the excellent shared research facilities at West Virginia University in order to integrate those photonic and electronic devices inside a cell that can be used in the field. West Virginia has many coal mines and while processing coals, the heavy metals and very, very many poisonous uh, chemicals, they go and dump into a river. So we fabricate these sensors to detect these chemicals and also we use the same sensors to uh, detect cancer cells in our human body. The main goal is to make the sensors portable and fast and make the whole lab on a chip. In another area of research, we make devices where we have live cells used as the detector itself and we monitor how these cells react to these toxins and we decide whether these toxins are dangerous. In my research, we're providing new insights regarding studying the toxicity of carbon nanotubes and the associated cellular behavior in real time. My research is highly collaborative. I'm applying engineering principles to biological systems. I'm currently collaborating with biologists, pharmacists, material scientists, as, as well as other chemical engineers. We have a, a mission for education and outreach. In education, we're educating graduate students and undergraduate students, and also we're doing outreach with K through 12 students to foster scientific training at all levels. Being an NSA fellow, I've been afforded many opportunities to work with the community. I participated in Nano and Science Day here in West Virginia, which allowed me to work with children from three all the way up until 12 years of age, teaching them basic science and also introducing science to their parents. I also work with a middle school teacher in Lower West Virginia through a program called TREK where we developed microfluidic devices so that the 8th grade students can do um, science in their classroom and at home. A unique partnership we take advantage of is our work with the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health. That government lab is located in Morgantown and the mission of that agency is to reduce the burden of injury and illness. Many of the research projects over there or research problems require some of the devices that we're building in NanoSafe. Students should come to West Virginia University and the NanoSafe program because we can offer them a unique education where they really are doing interdisciplinary research. They, the students will find themselves learning about other disciplines and working in labs that are in other departments and other colleges. This is exactly what is needed for, for the training of the scientists of the future. I encourage everyone to participate in NanoSafe. Personally, it was a major step along my path to achieve my goals and to stand out and make a difference.